going to be rebuilding a HX35 turbo here. Got the genuine whole set kit. As you can see, I already have it apart. I cleaned it really well. Um, I'm going to film the assembly process because disassembly is always much easier. And so I'll just go over the kit here. Uh, basically, it comes with your snap rings, thrust bearing, your journal bearings, uh, the gaskets, and all that stuff you need. Alright, so I'm going to go from the back side first. You can go from the front side if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is how it's going to go in for this side. You have a snap ring, journal bearing, snap ring. The furthest little divot there is where your first snap ring will go. And then in between that black part, this black space right there, kind of looks black. That's where the journal bearing goes. And then you can see there's another divot. Yeah, first one's in. Next is the journal bearing. All right, so I got this oiled up. I didn't put too much on, just enough. So basically just drop this in there. Make sure it goes in flush. Okay, so that's journal bearing and final snap ring on this side in. Um, you can, uh, I guess you can tell if it's really in there by taking a pick like this. And then like spinning it and you'll see it spins within its hole. See it like that. Don't do that too much though because you'll damage the journal bearing. All right, so I got it flipped around now. Basically, what we're doing on this side is the exact same. Exact same two snap rings and a single journal bearing. Same thing in between the two grooves. Uh, I'll try to show that again. You can see right there, two grooves, journal in between. You can see the oil feed on the side. So there's the first one in there. Come on, camera focus. All right, there it is. Now again, I'm gonna put some oil on this journal bearing, drop that in, and then next snap ring on. Okay, that's now buttoned up. Journal bearings are all in with the snap rings, both sides. All right, so the next step is to throw the thrust collar here in the hole goes just like that next is the thrust bearing and you line it up with the holes here it's a pretty dummy proof design so that's it installed so next we got this o-ring to put in here it seats right on this ledge above the uh thrust bearing there all the way around it in there next we'll be putting this in to the end here along with this and for this you have to put a snap ring on it so this snap ring is a little bit different just got like two teeth there and you basically just spread it apart and it goes over top of this side of that so after putting the snap ring in this piece i basically just press these two together this side up that side down slid in there nice now there's room for the final ceiling snap ring so this is the one we're dealing with and it basically goes in there all right so i just dropped some oil down in here so that the journal bearings aren't going to be dry when it goes on the truck and starts for the first time so right now if you're going to be using your old turbine and compressor would be a good time to just look them over, make sure there's nothing wrong with them. So first we're gonna have to replace the snap ring here because I'm using my old turbine. Same as the uh, snap ring we put on the rear backing of the turbo. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did the other way. Just spread it with our fingers kinda. Don't try to go down one side by on its own because that's how you break these things. And there we're ready to put this in to the core of the turbo. 
first we're gonna put some oil on the shaft here and on the snap ring. Right, so I got some oil on there now. So basically how this goes, is this backing, I'm not sure what it's called, goes on like that. Just like the old one came off. Could probably reuse the old one, but why use an old one when you have a new one? And then this goes in like this. Turbine shaft down. I couldn't hold the camera and do that at the same time. Pretty easy though. Just put this end through and then push it in. It should go right in nice and easy. If it doesn't, you can tap the back just a little bit until it comes through. So compression going on, very straightforward, right over the threads. Slides in, bam. Now, back is normal thread and the front is reverse thread. So you're gonna take two ratchets and then snug it up. And the torque spec for this nut is 124 pounds, I believe, for the 12 point. I just wanted to let you guys know you can put Loctite or something like that on this nut to prevent it from backing off. So next, we're gonna be putting on the compressor housing. Assuming you're reusing your old one, just go over it really well, make it nice and clean. You might as well do it now while it's out and try to get the insides here too. It's gonna get carbon build up again, but it's better to get out most of it now. That way it's more of a new turbo. All right, so the next step would be to put this O-ring on the outside here of the turbo core compressor side, but that O-ring only works for things that were machined. So this turbo hasn't been machined here. So that means it's a metal to metal seal as opposed to using the O-ring. So if you don't have a groove here, that looks like it fits in O-ring, then don't use this O-ring because then it's not gonna seat into the compressor housing properly and you'll have a boost leak or problems down the line. Goes on the compressor housing and right here at the bottom is a keyway and that aligns with this little keyway right here. So to put this snap ring on, you're definitely gonna need some adjustables or channel locks to get it on there. And you basically just go like this, compress it and then press down. So a little pro tip for anyone struggling with putting the uh, snap ring on the compressor housing. Um, if these tabs are like bent over a little bit, like inwards, you can put them in a vise and then hammer them back so they're more on a 90 degree angle. And that way these will go on there a li little bit easier. Uh, at the beginning, my one of these was a little slanted in, so this kept slipping off. So that's just a little tip if anyone's struggling with the uh, snap ring to bend those up a little bit. So now we're throwing on the turbine side. As you can see, I painted it, painted it, cleaned it up. Just like the compressor housing, try cleaning on the inside the best you can. So the turbine, putting the turbine side on is pretty easy. You basically just throw it on top like this. Um, I just want to point out, you're going to want to make sure this exit is lined up to how your vehicle is set up. Because if you, if you don't line this up correctly, you're going to have to twist the front compressor housing or take this off again and then twist it around to match where your exhaust manifold set up. So if you have another turbo, match that one. Or uh, it's a little late now, but take a picture of the turbo before you take it apart. So this goes on the exact same way. Got my uh, turbine housing side set up the way I want it. If you guys are using the HX for a Cummins, this is how you're gonna wanna have it set up. They're kind of opposite of each other. So compressor out here and then diagonally, this is the exhaust outlet. 
Um, so basically just slides in into there. Make sure it's sitting flush all the way around. And then uh, you're gonna take these. Either, they do come with the kit, but I'm sure you could reuse the old ones. My old ones look fine, but might as well throw these on. Basically, these just line up with the holes on the side here. And what this does is it just sits on, uh, this bracket sits right on uh, that part of the housing. There's a little lip there, it sits on there. And that's what prevents this from backing out. So I got those brackets on there now and the turbo is done. Spin it, make sure everything seems fine, spinning smoothly. There should be no in and out play. There should be no in and out play. Up and down, yes, there's going to be a little bit. Freshly rebuilt turbos do have up and down play just a little bit. That's very minimal. That will go away with oil pressure. So yeah, that is the complete turbo. It's all done now. Uh, it's ready to go on the truck when it's needed. This is just going to be a backup for me. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps anyone looking to uh, rebuild a turbocharger, especially the HX35 and HX40. It's going to be the same. And other journal bearing turbos, it'll be pretty similar to this. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.